is Isabella and this is my 2006 Dodge Grand Caravan. Um, let's go check it out. April showers in the month of May The ground's still wet and the sky's still gray but you're still shining. So, um, why I moved into the van? Um, well, long story. So, I dropped out of university, I think, like, five years ago. Um, I'm from Toronto, and it's very different. Right now, we're in British Columbia. Like, it's over there, it's really flat. It's like, you know, city. It's not really what I wanted, and, um... I always knew I loved traveling, so I mean, I dropped out of university, I only did two years, and then um, I moved out west, and I loved it so much, I was living in Jasper for about two years, and we would always do road trips, it was a lot of fun, and back then, I just had an SUV, and then we would just, I would just put a blow-up mattress in the back, and it was really good, and you know, you don't need anything fancy, so I really enjoyed that aspect. Okay, so after living in Jasper for two years, um, I just really wanted to travel overseas. Um, so I traveled to Europe, Asia, and Australia for almost a year. And it was awesome, and I was in Asia for the majority of my trip. I lived in Thailand for six months, and I got an apartment there. It was so cheap, it was like $100 a month, like a huge place in front of the mountains, and it was really good, I was enjoying my life like always um, and then coming back to Canada um, I didn't really know why I came back but I knew I wanted to get into the wine industry so I saw something online um, to do my viticulture and vinification technician um, certification so I came out here like really random like maybe like a week after I landed back in back in Canada um, and then I was like, holy crap, everything is so expensive, the rent is so expensive, like, I just came back from traveling, I didn't know what to do. Um, but anyway, so, did, did that, and then, um, I got this van, and I always wanted to do van life, just because, you know, I've done road trips before, I really liked it, and I like being mobile, you know, I'm used to traveling with my backpack only. So this for me is already a lot of space, even though nothing really fits in here right now, but that's because, you know, you'll figure it out. Um, I just, like, yeah, I need to figure out where everything goes and get used, get used to it, but, um, yeah, I think, I think that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> I have a solar panel up there and a, a roof vent. Back here is the charge controller. Yeah, I don't know anything on it. I don't know what it means. All I know is that I need to watch the bars and make sure it doesn't get too low or else the battery is not gonna charge easily. And then here I have a switch for the inverter. It's a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, it's pretty powerful, that's all I know about it. So underneath, I have a fridge freezer, and it just slides out. Um, but I have a problem. You see, I have beer here, and it's not in the fridge. <laughs> and I've been harassed by the man behind the camera about it. <laughs> um, but, you know, things will change as, as life evolves and moves on, but just got some food. It's not that big, but I don't know. It's what fits in here. And then underneath, um, got like a little drawer here. Just keep what I would wear, I guess, every day, like underwear and, you know, pants and my shirts and toiletries and my makeup. But it's nice. I actually really like this because I see some builds. Um, you, you kind of just like shove everything underneath, but for me that wouldn't work because I'm not organized. So these cabinets and this table, 
I wanted it to be like the original wood color, but we ran out of the natural wood stain. So this is what happened, but it's cool. And actually this isn't even supposed to be here. It was supposed to be over there by the window, but it doesn't fit. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it eventually, but I kind of just put it down here when I need to do stuff. Keeps all my food. Um, here I, I don't really cook here because it gets hot. So I have a table that I'll show you after, but this is my sink and sinks are usually really expensive. Well, from what I saw. So this is actually a mixing bowl. I think it was five bucks. Um, yeah, I just like cut a hole, put a little drain in there and it's worked well. And then this is my, um, little water pump and it pumps water out yeah I like it I like it because um, I don't need to like manually pump anything and you can charge this it lasts like a long time which is good and then here um, I just have you know some backseat organizers got my spices here I got you know um, more spices Got some tampons um, mixed with some sunscreen. And here, this is for tortillas if I ever want to make it. Just some fun information. All right, so this table here, um, it's supposed to go back here, but it's not the case right now. Um, so it just kind of hooks on over here. I don't really like this. I want something that can slide in, but okay. I want to get an adjustable leg because like depending on how you park, it's just better. So um, yeah, you know, this is where I put my laptop to do work, but I honestly just watch Netflix. You gotta watch how I phrase things. <laughs> <laughs> so let's dive into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this bed, um, it's like six feet long and 44 inches wide. I'll show you how it works. So, yeah, underneath I just have this Velcro here. You just pull it. Pull it out. The manual one you just you know open and close it um the fabric i got in vancouver three years ago and just like put it up here with glue so it worked really well oh actually there is insulation above this just like reflectix and also on the ground too it's kept me warm this is just the curtain yeah Right, well I didn't do it nicely now, but since the side is white, I want to put my projector over here at one point, and then at night time I can just, you know, watch movies. So I think it'll be really cool, I just gotta like make sure it's straight or whatever. This is my plant, it is not real, um, but it's a solar panel lantern, which I love, and this thing lasts really long, like, I think I had it on for like two nights or whatever. It didn't even die or anything. But yeah, it just goes in there. I don't know why, I think it's gotta be dark for it to work. But it's really cute. And then, you know, I just like hang it up here so I can see what I'm doing in the night. But yeah, I love this thing. It's from Dollarama, so go get it. And then, uh, battery powered carbon monoxide detector. Just use Velcro. It sticks there. Um, here, this is where I pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, okay, for the girls, I don't have that like she wee female thing, so I just pee in here, pour it in there. And then, you know, you just wash it. 
And yeah, and then I guess this is like, I have all my eyelashes here. <laughs> and uh, you know, a little mirror, so if I wanna do my makeup. But yeah. And then um, shelves with a bunch of food. Too much food, I don't know. I don't know why there's so much food. Probably just gonna eat McDonald's anyway. <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so these change color. The remote doesn't work, so I'm stuck with a blue light van. Underneath here is like the electric stuff. I don't feel like moving it, I'm sorry. But there's a battery underneath. And if I want to cook outside, just bench mode. Right now it's in bed mode. Um, you can sit here and, you know, put your legs here. Oh, I have um, a foot rest. Clean your feet before putting your feet here, you know. And then, yeah, you can just chill. And right now I'm looking at um, Chrome's van. There's no cruisy in the windows, but that's okay. coming to see my van um, you guys should do it if it's what you want I mean there's nothing stopping you but your own mind um, yeah I just got the van and I don't know how to build anything my friend helped me which I was really lucky so but even if not like I said you just put like a blanket in there and go to bed it's all you need it for if you love adventuring and traveling exploring like that's what this is for Can we have some quietness for a minute so we can finish this video clip off? All right, you guys, if this is the first van tour you've ever watched on my channel, if you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up button and uh, <laughs> Cruz, can you shush just, just for a minute, please just shush shushy, okay? You good? All right. <laughs> um, I have an entire playlist with van tours I've met with uh, weirdos like this that are traveling around in their van, just living their life, doing amazing things. So if you need any inspiration or some van build ideas, the link to that playlist is at the very end of this video. Or if you guys just go onto my channel, click my channel and you'll see all my little playlists I've ever made. All right, so Isabella, thank you. You're welcome. All right, you guys, see you later.